Hello, and welcome to another RPD video. Today, we'll be discussing retentive undercut creation. It is not uncommon to find abutment teeth with no retentive undercuts. Cases such as this can be challenging to treat with partial dentures. There are three ways by which undercuts can be created in abutment teeth. An additive method, subtractive method, and fabricating a surveyed crown. Let's start with the additive method. Traditionally, a cast is made of the arch. Next, wax is added to the cast to create the desired undercut. The cast is then duplicated into stone. A vacuform matrix is then made over the tooth that was waxed up. The clear matrix is then removed and made ready for use in the patient's mouth. Most of those steps are done in the lab or before the patient arrives. During the patient appointment, the vacuform matrix is inserted and full seating is verified. Flowable composite is then inserted in the cavity between the vacuform and the tooth, and the composite is cured. The vacuform is then removed and the composite is polished. Notice how an undercut is now created. Now let's move on to the subtractive method. It is often inconvenient to undergo the additive undercut creation as it requires more than one appointment. The subtractive method requires the use of a football diamond. A small enameloplasty is made in the area where retention is needed. This is called a dimple. And it creates enough undercut for retention. Now let's talk about surveyed crowns. They are fixed restorations that have built-in tooth modifications for RPDs, like built-in rest seats, built-in guide planes, and built-in retentive undercuts. It is worth noting that all parts of the survey crown that are contacting clasp components should be made in metal, except for the retentive clasp, because generally the porcelain will wear the metal over time, so it's preferred to place metal components on metal. However, retentive clasps are usually in visible areas, so the rule is broken in this circumstance for the sake of aesthetics. It's important to ensure that there's an extra 0.5 millimeters of reduction over the area where the rest seat is going to be made, to ensure enough metal thickness. During the fabrication of surveyed crowns, the ideal contours are waxed up and surveyed before casting. Surveyed restorations can be in the form of crowns, fixed partial dentures, inlays, onlays, or even resin bonded veneers. That's it for this video. We hope it was helpful, and we'll see you guys on the next one.